Hello there, just um, a quick video to run through the tune Family Picnic. The whole idea behind the tune is it's meant to be a relaxing, pleasant melody to listen to, nothing too difficult to play and just a, a, a nice pleasant tune, rather like a family picnic in a way. So this is the tune. <laughs> So nothing too complicated with the bowing, it's pretty just straightforward really. There's a, there's a longer bow on the end there, it goes. So it's a sort of shorter bows and I think it's more or less a bow stroke for every individual note. So on the first part of the tune, that's a nice long bow there. And again, so there's that long bow that's quite important on the first section of the tune. There's a nice slide there on the A string as well. There it is. So I just slide up from the note below the first note on the um, A string. Just slide up there just to emphasise that part. quite quick slide as well. There's something else I do there. A little bit of vibrato there on that third note on the D string. And also I impart a little bit of rhythm with the bow there. Did you notice? I'll just play it again. I sort of snap the, the A when I go up to the A string. It just gives a little bit of rhythm. So I'll play it all in context. slight slide down there that's from the second note on the A string using my middle finger I do that quite a lot in tunes um, so I just simply when I play the um, my the second note on the A string I just sort of slide it down fractionally and I hit the open A then I play that in context A 
there's that vibrato. Now it's held on the on the middle finger this time on the D string. There's quite a few of those in this particular tune. It just emphasizes that note so well. I'll play it again. So some grace notes I like to put in on this tune. They are where I sort of flick the third. I hold down the so I hold down the second note on the A string with my middle finger, and I just flick on and off the third note with my ring finger. I'll try and play that in context. There we are, that was it. Play it again. And somehow I get that slide in as well, that slide down. if you can't do all those things together but um, even if you just get the slide down that that will make it sound quite pleasant uh, and the vibrato so that's a couple of things to have a go at so um, moving on now I'll play the second part again actually hit that uh, grace note quite a few times there. I, I also do it when I'm playing on the, a, the D string. There we are. Exactly the same thing once again. So it's middle finger on the second note and then you just simply flick your ring finger onto the third note. On and off. it is. Play it one more time, try and slow it down. Just worth practicing that because it does get quicker. It takes a while to um, to get the speed up but it does it does happen over a period of time. Um, so I'll carry on. Couple, couple of a little, nice little double stop there. That's just simply the open uh, D and the open A, and then the second note on the on the D string. Now on to the third part. So once again I put that vibrato note in. There it is. On my ring finger on the third note of the D string. And there's a, a nice little flick on that A string again. And there's a slide there. So, so far I'm using four embellishments. <clears throat> I'm using the, the vibrato, the slightly longer note um, with the vibrato. 
the grace note which I've already explained, the slide <clears throat> and also this sort of flick on the A string to give it a little bit of rhythm. So there's four embellishments going on throughout this tune. For the bowing well I've tried to explain how I push the A string how you use that bowing to impart the rhythm so that's where the where the where the bowing really needs to be strengthened. So that's the tune Family Picnic. I hope this helps um, for the person that wanted to, to know a little bit more about the bowing. Hopefully this will explain the way that I approach this particular tune. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye now.